Well, what a day you're having, eh? Strolling around like a little tour player, aren't you? <laughs> We've still got... haven't had my tea time. No, I know. Well, we're going to go find that out. We've got to register, haven't we? <laughs> well, we have made our way. We're at St Melian Golf Club today. We are challenge tour. Big event going on here at the club. And um, I thought we would come up to the range and actually go through a warm-up process. So a warm-up process. We've got Stephen Tiley, who is uh, one of the Challenge Tour players here, English lad from Royal Sink Ports. So if you haven't seen the video with his What's in the Bag, make sure you go and check that out. Um, it is interesting, yeah. it's great. It, I mean, little I know you love... Think we see yeah. little, little changes and differences that the standard player wouldn't have. Or uh, little, little stories about, little that story, go on yeah, that with it. Yeah. But, we're, but he's going to go through his warm-up process before... We're going to get out on the golf course, so there will be another video, a follow-up video on him out on the first sort of four or five holes here at St Melian. But I thought we could actually go through that process of what is it like yeah. for a tour player? What do they do, you know, even behind the scenes of, like, in, you know, warm-up before they even come out onto the range? You know, what do they we, get we, up to? We get asked that question so many times. Like how, how do we warm up? Yeah. What do we, how do we prepare for a tournament yeah. on the day, etc.? So just to get an insight from an actual tour player who's been on tour 20-odd years. Yeah. Um, brilliant. Superb. Yeah. So we're going to go meet up with uh, Steve now, have a little catch-up with him and see, see what he gets up to. First thing I do, um, come into the physio room uh, after I've just arrived at the course. Um, I've got uh, my pulse roll gun and I've just got like a massage ball. Um, so just basically I get a lot of pain, uh, not pain but just like stiffness down the lower back um, and a little bit sort of through my traps um, and I had an injury about two, three years ago in my ribs, intercostal ribs. Um, so always sort of aware of loosening up my uh, thoracic spine, T-spine and stuff like that. So I usually just get the ball and then just sort of put it on my back and, and end up rolling on it and just rolling up and down. It's quite a hard back, hard ball, sorry. Um, and this just like loosens up my back and stuff like that. So I move on to like my legs, and, uh, calf area and stuff like that. And then sometimes I get up and find the wall and sort of try and find like sort of trigger points and if they if i find like a little spot usually right side underneath my um shoulder blade sort of rotator cuff area and just in there and just uh just work on that for a little bit so made our way up to the range all stretched out all limbered up yeah sort of setting up setting up uh track man, track yeah. man. so i set up track man most days unless uh it's sort of really windy or like we haven't got a range that does it but i'll go in here and i'll just do um a 20 ball wedge test right so straight away and just sort of just see how everything's going so i pick a target on the on the track man usually on my phone yeah and then lots of times normalization and then I do 20 shots and it sort of calls out the yardage and I just like sort of go through um, more playing so I just try and hit these numbers now and just sort of get into we're trying to get into like playing mode so yeah. pick a target and then we go through and and hit the shots so yeah And you're kind of going to go through all the wedges, or you just um, oh, yeah, it's all right. 102.9 that was. 102.9, and this point nine this, of the yard. What out. should this club go? Uh, this one 54? 101, yeah, 54. So should it go yeah. 101. 101, but it was 102, so I hit it a little bit harder, and it went 103. So, and then we got 61. So I just to see how the ball's reacting, um, if it's you know quite wet, if it's travelling. And this sort of spits out yardages from 50 to 127. So um, I'll just go through these and then uh, a little bit different because it's Callaway balls. We, the tour is sponsored by Callaway, so we don't, I don't use my own ball, which is 
at home I use my own ball. Yeah, so, so this is the yeah. Pro V1. Pro yeah, V1. Pro V1, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then that's it really, just 20 shots and just sort of loosen up, get a feel for it. Yeah, so pretty good, like obviously got these dialed in, that was 110, I hit it 110.7. So yeah, it's just... And when, no, you're doing, no. when you're trying to hit a number, are you yeah. doing it through clock face system? Are you doing it through just a feel process? How's yeah, it, how's it work for you? A body feel. So like what I feel is uh, like this one is 116. So it'd be a grip down, grip down the shaft and like hip to fall. So I feel like I'm going to hit, but I don't. But no. that's hip to me and then fall full follow through yeah and you've just dialed so, those in over over time over time yeah i've played i'm 40 years old i've played long enough to yeah to work it out but and stuff like that so what's your normal shape what do you normally hit um pretty neutral yeah. i try and hit like a fade but it normally goes a little bit right to left so i'm trying to hold it off all hold it off but it, it goes land sort of left so a little bit right to left whenever i try and hit it right to left it goes to a long the, way left yeah, yeah okay. so and there's some players like i mean I, you remember the old days of like tom watson and things like that he'd yeah. start with a two iron three iron i think three yeah, iron, yeah, yeah i've it? seen him I, I hit balls with him next to him at uh royal lytham st anne's okay uh, at the open yeah and he started off right next to me with a three iron yeah so and for yeah. you for you personally i mean is it is it more just about limbering up warming up yeah wedges muscles moving, yeah wedges for me really try not just, to go flat out early yeah on. no i just try and get my scoring clubs getting tight and then works its way through the bag yeah so if i'm hitting these good then uh just a little bit of confidence as well like where i'm so good with my wedges um start hitting numbers and stuff like that and then uh work through the bag yeah yeah it's quite a lot of wedges it's quite a yeah yes yeah, i just I need, I need to this is like sort of as i said before like this needs to be like good for me to to play well so i just spend a lot of time 20 shots going through full routine um i just feel like this this part of the game needs to be ready before i go on the first tee more yeah. than anything really so how much are you working on different uh, windows, flight patterns, things like that? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to hit it through certain points or? Uh, not at all really, no. Right. So just when I've got my numbers dialed in, I'm just focusing on the 150 like the target yeah. and just trying to hit that. Uh, flight's not really. Um, I work on like with my coach, um, David Llewellyn, I let it get a little bit sort of sway. It gets quite narrow and when I'm hitting wedges, uh, we need to just work on a little bit of firmer base. Yeah. Um, we tend to just move off the ball a little bit too much. And okay. yeah, the, the, the strike goes and um, it gets a little bit quick. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to sort of do when I'm wedges, but not, not at a tournament really when I'm warming up, but more at home or just yeah. on a Tuesday or Wednesday, yeah, so. So wedges now dialed in. Yeah. Where do you go now? Uh, six stroke seven iron, so yeah. Always to that club? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, um, yeah, turn this off, safe battery, and then, yeah, um, yeah hit some, uh, just go straight in, little alignment stick, normally to the same target, and yeah. just hit some, some seven irons, really. And how far does this club normally carry? Uh, 164. Yeah. Yeah. And have you kind of got a couple of numbers with it that you can uh, play with? A little bit, yeah, yeah. A little grip down and stuff like that, but not, yeah. 164. <laughs> Just like sort of, again, loosening up, working on a little bit of rhythm. Um, I've hit it. If, it, if I've not hit it particularly well the previous day, I'm working on a little bit of um maybe a little bit of technique just really just trying to make contact really yeah, yeah. early in the morning and you're not so you're not not really at this moment in time working on anything too technical you're not just, at all again yeah. just not at all ring. just maybe a feel get a feel for the day yeah um you know you notice they might go you might be a little bit quick for the day or you know you're not feeling too good and just sort of working out how to manage your game but yeah just hit a couple of them then uh because i spend quite a lot of time in my wedgie area yeah 
this isn't particularly quick. I'd move straight to you the just five go iron. Through the bag. Quickly. Yeah, quite quickly, yeah. yeah. Sort of like, you know, five balls with each club yeah. and stuff like that. So got to ask this question. Yeah. Why is it yeah. when you put that ball club behind the ball? Yeah. Out the hill. That you get it out the hill? Yeah, just always have, really. Is yeah. That right? Yeah, VJ, Luke Donald and myself uh, I've seen so much. I just just feels comfortable there. I don't know why. I, I've, I've ended up moving it. There's a lot of people that would scare the life out of them. Yeah, 100%, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it to an amateur. <laughs> but I suppose from, from what you're doing, I mean, your strike location is pretty centered. I can see from the wear and tear on your clubs. Yeah. So obviously setting up in the heel, then you then obviously move your position slightly as you yeah, come to Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. I think it just... Uh, Nice. Yeah. And there's that like literally like a two yard draw. A little bit, yeah. yeah. So um, just just trying to not make it go left really. So always just trying to trying to fight trying to left work. really. Is yeah. that right? Fighting yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Look very little yeah. shape. Quite neutral. Yeah. Always been quite neutral. Um, it goes left if I, my grip gets a little bit strong if I'm working on, okay. if I'm hitting a lot of balls and stuff. Yeah. Then we get into like sort of hybrid area. Yeah. And do you pretty much, do you try and hit every club in the bag or have you no, got like a just, set? Yeah, no, not a set anything, just whatever I'm feeling on the day sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, but if this, if, if a course needs a certain, if it's quite long and I'm hitting a lot of hybrids, I'll, I'll hit more hybrids at the yeah. end. So. And, and talking yeah. about the golf course, if there's if there's a hole on the golf course that you're not overly comfortable with, or yeah. um, a shot off the tee that you don't necessarily like, yeah. is it something that you would come and have a little play with on the range? Uh, no, but in the practice round, I'd like probably hit, hit a few balls, hit a few balls, and just hit a club that I feel comfortable with. Moving in, three wood, driver, and then just whatever you're hitting on the first tee. So always always finishing off with the one on the first tee. Um, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And then I just finish up with a driver. Yeah, and then that's it. Hit driver on the first tee and off you go. Clean your clubs and off we go to the tee. Well, I hope you enjoyed that insight into a warm-up process by a tour player. Steve is obviously at that age where he needs to go through that pre-warm-up where he's loosening up his whole body, getting himself into a good position to be able to go and hit those clubs on the range. And then dialing in those short clubs, I think so important for someone like Steve who doesn't necessarily have all the distance compared to some of these other tour players, but getting those numbers precise with his wedges, so important and a fantastic pre-routine or pre-game routine that he goes through there to start really dialing those numbers in absolutely fascinating something i've never probably seen before uh, on a tour range well i hope you like what you see from that video don't forget we've got a couple of other videos that we did down at the challenge tour event and you've watched those or are gonna watch those they should be out soon and uh, if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all again very soon